Hello friends, welcome to Automation Community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will draw a ladder diagram from logic gate circuits. So let's look at the example first. Example 21. There is OR gate with the input A and B. And then there is NOT of C that is connected in OR with D. And then there is AND gate with the output of A plus B and the output of C naught plus D. So we will use normally open contacts for A, B and D. And we will use normally closed contact for C. We will connect A and B in parallel and then we will connect C and D in parallel and then we will connect A plus B and C plus D in series. So let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab. Here is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221 C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configuration. I will click on yes. Then I can also go to serialize where I can select protocol. I will select it as TMH to JDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for the logic gate circuit. I can also click on this option for a full screen mode and then zoom into it. Then I will insert two normally open contacts and I will connect them in parallel. Then I will insert one normally closed contact and one normally open contact and connect them in parallel and then I will insert a coil here. Then I will click on this option and connect this normally open contact like this and then I will draw a line like this. So we have connected these two normally open contacts in parallel thus implementing OR gate and then we have again implemented an OR gate with these two inputs and then we have implemented AND gate with the output of this OR gate and this OR gate. Then I will assign address to this contact as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as A. Yes. Then I will assign address to this contact as I 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as B. Yes. Then I will assign address to this contact as I 0.2. I will also add symbol to it as C. Yes. Then I will assign address to this contact as I 0.3. I will also add symbol to it as B. Yes. Then I will assign address to this coil as Q 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as Y. Yeah. So A and B are in parallel. Thus we have implemented OR gate. And then here again we have connected C naught and D in parallel and have implemented OR gate. Then we have connected A plus B and C naught plus D in series and we have implemented AND gate. So for output Y to be on, either A should be on and C should be off or 
A should be odd and D should be odd or D should be on, C should be off, or B should be on and D should be on. And then only Y will be on. In case A is on, D is off and C is on. So the Y, the output Y will be off. So if D is on and B is on, then Y will be on. So we will exit full screen mode and we will compile the program. Then we will go to commissioning and here we will launch simulator. Then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. Then I will go to programming tab and click on a full screen mode here. So when I turn on A, the output Y will be on. And then if I turn on B, the output Y will be on. And then if I turn on C, and B, the output Y will be off. So when C is on, for output Y to be on, D should be also on. So when I turn on D, the output Y will be on. And then if I turn on A, C and D, the output Y will be on. So when C is off, that is when C is false, one of the inputs can turn on the output. And then when C is true, the input D should also be true. And with that, one of the two inputs should be on. And then only Y will be on. Then if I turn on B, that is when A is on, B is on, C is on, and D is on, and then also Y will be on. And then if I turn on A and B and C, the output Y will be false. So when C is true, D should be true, then only Y will be true. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.